Shalom, how are you? I'm Jen Mallon, welcome to Come Home. It's always a delight to come in to your life and to encourage you in the Lord. I love Jesus. I'm so grateful for my salvation. I'm so grateful for the Word of God. I'm so grateful for the Holy Spirit. I'm so grateful for communion. I'm so grateful for the gifts of the Spirit. I'm so grateful for the body of Christ, and that includes you. And I pray and ask the Lord to bring us guests, quality programming, interviews, that will touch your heart and that will be valuable and meaningful to you. And so everything is based on the Word of God, grounded in the Word of God, but we also like to help you with body, soul, and spirit because we serve the three-part Trinity, Godhead, and we are three-part beings. So one of our wonderful guests that many of you have said, he's my favorite, bring him back, is Dr. Neil Goodman, and he, teaches on temple care, temple maintenance. He is a medical doctor, but he also uses so many homeopathic remedies to help us. He's written a book called The Biohacker's Guide to the Galaxy. And in that book, he goes over all kinds of things that help us in our daily living. One of the things we're gonna talk about today is stress. All of us experience some sort of stress, whether it's environmental, emotional, mental, physical, in our food, in pollutions. You know, John 14, 27, Jesus said this, I love it. He said, Shalom, I leave with you. Peace, I leave with you. My peace, I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives, so do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Today, you're gonna to learn some keys so that you will not be afraid. So we're on our way to the living room, but right before, let's go to Minister Christine Vallis. She's gonna talk about the month of Savan. Happy Savan, my friends. Welcome to this segment of Life Hacks on Come Home with Jen Mallon. My name is Christine Vallis, and I am blessed to share a few highlights of the chalkboard teaching for the biblical month that we are in right now. It is the month of Savan. Now, the month of Savan follows the month of ER, which is a month of transition. But get ready, because when we move into Savan, we enter into the month of his extravagant provision. Now, provision, by definition, is supply made in advance for future use. And Savan is the third month of the spiritual year, and it's connected to the third letter of the Hebrew alphabet and is a picture of a camel. And camels symbolize provision in the Bible, supply and provision on its way, even two humps full as displayed here on the chalkboard. Now the Lord is the giver of all good things and he delights in providing for us, his children. God's extravagant provision is connected to this month because his generous heart was uniquely displayed in this month of biblical history in both the Old and New Testaments and even now in real time in our lives. So in the Old Testament, the children of Israel were redeemed out of Egypt Egypt in the month of Nisan, they transitioned in the desert in the month of Iyar, and now in the month of Savan, the Lord gave them a great gift of spiritual provision. Fifty days after the very first Passover, the Lord led them to Mount Sinai and gave them a lavish gift, the gift of His Word. This 50th day is known as Pentecost or Shavuot, the Feast of Weeks in Hebrew. And God did not only give the Ten Commandments and many statutes, but He also gave the children the plans of the tabernacle so He can come down and dwell with them. This was always his desire, to have relationship with us and to restore what was lost in Eden. And this tabernacling was a foreshadow of what the coming Messiah, Jesus, would bring. And this desire to dwell with us is even underscored in the tribe of the month. It is a tribe of Zebulun, whose name means dwelling wish for. 
So if we fast forward to the New Testament, 50 days after Jesus was crucified on the cross at Passover, another extravagant gift was given, and that was the gift of his spirit. You can read all about it in the book of Acts. All of the disciples were gathered together and were waiting in Jerusalem to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit as Jesus instructed them. It was a very similar scene to the 50th day at Mount Sinai with a cloud and fire. There was a noise and a mighty wind and tongues of fire rested upon them and they began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. And both of these lavish gifts, the gift of his word and the gift of his spirit, were given on the very same day in history, the sixth day of Savan. This 50th day, again, is known as Pentecost and Shavuot. This year it falls Friday, May 26, 2023. Now, like all gifts, they are of no value unless they are received. So let's receive a fresh revelation of his word and plant the incorruptible seed deep in the soil of our hearts. And as we do, we will bear much fruit in our lives. And if you are a believer and have never received the baptism of the Holy Spirit, don't go any further in your own strength, for this gift enables and empowers you to fulfill your calling. You know, after the disciples received the baptism of the Holy Spirit, they were radically changed. They went from fearful, often timid followers to bold disciples walking with authority. And he offers this same gift to us here now in real time. So simply ask and receive this lavish gift from your father, and he will not withhold any good thing from you. Receive his refreshing wisdom and boldness as you begin to pray in your heavenly prayer language. Come out of the wilderness season different. Come in the power and love of the Holy Spirit. So are you overwhelmed or in time of need? Behold, the Lord is sending camels of his abundance right to your way. Rise up and receive these refreshing gifts and his word and spirit, and go forth sharing them with the world around you. This year, Savan begins Saturday night, May 20th, and ends Monday night, June 19th. Hope you enjoyed this quick snippet of the month of Savan. To watch more, go to my website, christineballas.com, and uncover the Lord's prophetic calendar in real time in your life. Blessings, guys. Well, don't you love Minister Christine and the month of Savan? I love bringing you information that you weren't necessarily taught at Sunday school or vacation Bible school, but it is in the Bible. It is in the Torah. Jesus practiced all these feasts. The disciples did, the early church did, followers of the way did. And so how wonderful that we get to learn the richness of our heritage. Well, today, as I said earlier, we have a friend. It's always nice to listen to what you've said as viewers and listen to your responses, phone calls, emails, letters. By the way, keep them coming. Uh, try to be nice if you don't like something because we all love Jesus, right? And we want to do unto others the way that he would have them do unto us. But uh, I love your responses. And one of the most popular guests that we have had is Dr. Neil Goodman, otherwise known as Dr. G. And I think so many of us, especially after the pandemic, know the importance of taking care of the temple now. And yet, we may have had years of abuse or ignorance or just weren't knowledgeable. And that is why this segment is so critical, so essential to your health and your future because Jesus needs your body to be strong so that you can finish your race, you can cross the finish line, you can hear him say, well done, my good and faithful servant. So Dr. G, thank you for coming back. Thank, thank you, you for so being here. Thank you so much for here. having me. I'm so thrilled to be here. Well, today I know we're gonna talk about oxidative stress. And one. we're going to kind of talk about the implications, how it happens, how we can be cured from all of these factors that are all around us. But, you know, you said something earlier to me, and it really touched me. And you said, let's pray for the viewers before we even start the, the meat of this subject so that they would have an understanding. So I'm going to ask you to pray. Okay, I'd love to do that. Uh, Lord Jesus, I ask that you come into this broadcast this time and help our viewers to unwrap some of the information that I'm about to explore. Um, Father, I know that you want them to learn this because you know it's so important for them to take care of their temples. 
But Father, I ask that their eyes not be glazed over when they hear big scientific words that are maybe outside of their scientific knowledge. Father, give me the ability to bring into their hearts and into their minds the ability to understand in simple terms so that they can get these concepts, Father, and so that they can start to begin the journey to heal their own bodies and to heal themselves, heal their families, and heal all those that they know. And I ask for this power to come into the room today to protect and to give us the words to help them to understand. And I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Listen, if you have not watched Dr. G's testimony, it's important that you go on to ctnonline.com, that you go to the on-demand section, that you go to Come Home with Jen Mallon, or you go to the CTN YouTube channel and see the power of his testimony. It will help you appreciate this segment even more in future segments. And I tell people about your story all the time. So powerful. Okay, so let's talk about the topic of oxidative stress. What is it? Uh, how do we heal from it? How do we prevent it? How do we fight it? It's, it's all around us. And Dr. G, sometimes we get overwhelmed because people say, drink this water, not this water. Buy this organic, not this. Do this, not that. Don't have your phone near you, duh, duh. And sometimes you just get so overwhelmed, you just don't even know what to do and what not to do as believers. And I think many throw their hands up in the air and go, well, Jesus is just gonna have to protect me because it's too overwhelming. That's why you're here, to break it down and help us understand. Um, so let's talk. Well, absolutely. So I would just say that first, I think people need to understand that there is science that was given to man to understand, to allow us to be able to heal our bodies. And if you think about the genetic code that we were all given, this is God's code in our bodies that makes us who we are, gives us our personalities, and then from there we evolve, right? So that code is very similar to a DVD disc. It's, this disc is encoded with digital information. And this, think of this as your genetic code. But in fact, this genetic code can be damaged by our environment, by what you eat, by what you pollute your body with, by what you're exposed to in terms of radio waves or 5G radiation or UV light, or just picking up bad habits, right. such as alcohol or tobacco. We all know these are bad for us. But what do they do? Well, essentially what they do is they scratch the surface of the DVD. The information is still there. God's code is still in you, but it's been defiled. It's been hurt. And now when your body needs to pull on that resource to extract that information so it can heal itself, it can't do it anymore. And that's the science of epigenetics. Epigenetics is the study of how your genes are affected by your environment. Yeah. So we want to reverse that. And there are ways to do that with nutrition and using food as, as a healing substance. Medicine. Absolutely. Most medicines God put on this earth, most medicines, they were derived from him. The science came to us. Yes. And then, it, thank goodness for doctors, right, yeah. who understood the science and could apply it. But really, all the gifts came from God. That's right. Okay. So now what we want to do is we want to maximize our benefit from that science and what we know now, and the technology is constantly changing. So you introduced the subject of oxidative stress, yeah. and that's a huge one. And I think for people to understand what oxidative stress is, is it's essentially the culmination of everything negative that happened that caused that disc to be damaged. And we wanna sort of polish it back up and get it back to where it needs to be so it can be read again and perform as God intended. And it's doable. And it's doable. And you're gonna it's teach doable. us. Right, exactly. <laughs> it takes time yeah. and it takes good habits too. So that's the concept of oxidative stress. Now, if you think of the word oxidative stress, the word oxygen is in there, isn't it? Yes. So if you were to bite into an apple, what happens in 10, 15 minutes when you look at that apple? It turns like brown or yeah, yellow. Yeah, it turns brown, it's oxidizing. Right. So that's the effect of the environment on the flesh of the apple. The only thing is, is the same thing is happening to our bodies in real time, but on a much, much slower scale. So it's not just your flesh, but it's your enzyme systems, your ability to heal, your blood vessels, and all this stuff takes a toll after a while. And the culmination of that, you know, going for 20 or 30 years, 
is disease. Yeah. So all disease is derived from the culmination of oxidative stress on our body. Right. So what do we want to do to counteract oxidative stress? What would be the solution for that, Prevent do you think? disease or build our, build our bodies up in areas it's, that it's, have been exposed to stress. Exactly, build up our system. So the, the opposite of oxidative stress is the antioxidant. Okay. That makes sense, yeah, right? Absolutely. If an antioxidant meets an oxidative stress, the two join together and become water. They neutralize each other. And then you, it's part of the healing process. So when you have a whole bunch of oxidative stress, you have a whole bunch of inflammation mm. to be in flames. What's the solution to put a fire out? Water. Water. Right. Right? Makes sense. Yeah. Right? It does. See, so this is really simple, isn't it? Yeah. So we want as many antioxidants in our system as possible to neutralize that oxidative stress. So that we don't become inflamed. In, exactly, exactly. And that's why antioxidants are so popular now. The problem is, is that we make so much oxidative stress from everything that happens to us that we can't possibly ingest enough antioxidants to get rid of it all. It's just impossible. So what do we do? Well, the answer <laughs> is in the genetic code that I was talking okay. about. So the secret in the genetic code is something that's called NRF2. And NRF2 is a big long word and I'm not gonna go into it, but you can research it. And there is information on my website, biohackerusa.com that explains it in a video. I do sort of training videos for my guests who wanna visit my website. But in short, NRF2 is the signaling system that turns on the ability of the body to make antioxidants in huge quantities enough to neutralize all of the oxidative stress that you've accumulated. Isn't that fantastic? Isn't it wonderful that God, Elohim, Creator, already pre-wired that in our genetic code. He knew we would need these things. And the human body is a miracle. Absolutely, absolutely. And the thing is, you know, actually the sad thing is, is that a lot of doctors don't understand this process of um, neutralizing oxidative stress and sort of poo-poo the whole idea of antioxidants because they're so ingrained in the use of medicines in the in the pharma pharmacologic yeah. kind of world um, where we've lost sight of the fact that many of these healing things exist in nature yeah. and are God-given, yeah. right? So um, in turning on the NRF2 signal, um, think of it this way. Um, you're at home and you're behind your closed door yeah. and someone rings the doorbell. And that doorbell is the signal for you to open the door to let in this healing property. Yeah. So that's what the NRF2 is. NRF2 is a receptor, it's a signal, and it's just waiting for someone to push the button. Ding dong, that's it, And right? it turns on this whole system of huge productions of antioxidant particles in every single one of your 37 trillion cells. I mean, they all make antioxidants to the tune of millions per second wow. in every single one of your cells. That's a huge, huge potential to heal. It is. That, that t helps you understand Psalm 139, you know, that we are fearfully and wonderfully made by God. Absolutely. Amazing, Absolutely. 37 trillion cells. 37 trillion cells all together. And it makes it hundreds and thousands per second uh, millions per second in every single cell. Wow. So for a, a, an example, say you take a cup of coffee, and I love coffee. Me too. Because Cheers. it has lots of antioxidants in it, right? <gasps> like 15,000 antioxidants per, per cup. That's really good. But also vitamin D, vitamin C, uh, eating kale, uh, eating broccoli. These are foods that have huge amounts of actually NRF2 signaling built into them. So they're great foods to have, but by themselves, they can only knock out so many antioxidant particles. Right. So, you know, as a, they are antioxidant foods, but we're not using them for their, in the antioxidants that we're ingesting it. We're using them for the NRF2 signaling mm. back to our body to tell it to make antioxidants. So going to what are those three antioxidants? They are, there are three and okay. in order, and these are big words, guys, so, and I'm not meant to confuse. The first one is called SOD. SOD stands for superoxide dismutase. Don't even bother pronouncing <laughs> it, it's not important. What matters is it's the strongest antioxidant that we have in our body. And this was descri described or 
uh, you know, I think researched and found out about sometime in the 50s or so by Nobel Prize laureates, and they found this particular molecule to be extremely effective. Then the second antioxidant that a lot of people are aware of is something called catalase. Catalase likes to neutralize um, free radicals, to neutralize them and turn them into water. And then the one that everyone talks about is glutathione. I know that one. Glutathione. Now, when people take um, NAC orally, or they eat um, foods that are high in sulfur, for example, onions are high in sulfur, okay. kale, broccoli, those kind of foods have a, actually an ingredient called sulforaphane, which is an NRF2 activator. Wow. So you can eat them for that, but what you're really eating them for is, as I said before, the NRF2 signal in them. Well, it just so happens that if you put together five specific herbs that are commonly found, and, uh, and, I, and it's not really important that I name them right now, but they include things like turmeric, and ashwagandha, and people have used these for years and years and years, both in the Asian um, uh, uh, treatment or management of medicine, as well as Indian Ayurvedic medicine. Yeah. They are very, very good at using these kind of herbs. But scientists in the United States have actually figured out that if done in the correct proportion, that you could put together some specific herbs, they would actually amplify each other and be greater than the sum of the, of the individual parts, such that you could increase this NRF2 signal by 1,800%, which means that you can now take a pill derived from those herbs and reduce your oxidative stress by 30% to 40% in just a month. That's wonderful. And literally in everyone who ever took it. I mean, that's like, um, even if you're 80 or 70, it doesn't matter you will reduce your level of stress burden to the level of a 20-year-old. Wow. Now, I'm not talking about emotional stress. I'm talking about this oxidative stress. Sure. And in doing so, that starts the healing process. You're turning on a system that has been essentially quiet for a long time. You're trying to bring it back online by ringing that doorbell. I love that. You know, we haven't heard... As a population in America, we haven't heard about this. Maybe in the nutrition field or in, in the medicinal field, um, in the homeopathic field, but for the most part, we haven't heard that we can uh, anti-age through antioxidants and through turning on right. systems and that the technology has now created a, um, a pill that can help because it is sometimes overwhelming because we can't eat. When they show you the, the nutrition mm -hmm. triangle, I know I love healthy food, but I cannot eat purple and orange and five greens and yellow and right. red. It's a lot right. to do in one day. And so to have something that can help us and, and uh, equip our body and turn something on, it's very encouraging. Right, and so it makes it easier. It makes it so that most people have access to this now. Mm -hmm. Whereas before, like you said, um, like the equivalent to taking the, this one thing, it would be like eating 120 oranges at the same time. Oh, you, you couldn't do it. You can't. Or 11 pounds of blueberries, you could not. Can't do it. You'd be ill. Sure. You'd be ill just exactly. from eating that volume, right? Exactly. So to, to, to imagine that power now has been focused down to essentially a tablet that you can take every day. And uh, we know that elite athletes are using this technology to maximize their performance because now they heal faster, they recover faster from exercise. But whatever pre-existing injuries that they have also helps to allow them to recover. Yes. Now this is also useful for those who have had, um, uh, let's put it this way, challenges to mental functioning. Yeah, brain and fog brain fog or they're not able to concentrate or focus as well because of meta inflation creating um, you know a barrier to their learning yes. so essentially if you can knock that down to the level where you're not acting like a 40 or 50 year old and you're you're now functioning at the healing level of a 20 year old in almost every case absolutely now the more you use it the the more you gain from it there have been reports of people gaining as much as 70 percent reduction of their oxidative stress. So if you know that's the cause of most disease, imagine the implications for healing. Yeah, I, so important. And 
We only have a little time left, so I want you to kind of think about how we can book in this conversation. I know many of the, there's products on your website, there's educational videos, and I love that not only you're a doctor and a believer and a patriot, but you're an educator and you do such a great job in breaking things down and making them palatable and understandable. And so thank you for that gift. Absolutely. But I, you know, you can get your book, Right, so I wrote a book called The Biohacker's Guide to the Galaxy. And I actually published it on Amazon.com and it's a very simple read. It's meant to be easily understandable by most people. It's not too, too techy, big words, big print. Um, and then also my webpage, biohackerusa.com. I actually have videos recounting what we're talking yeah. about but in much, much greater depth with a PowerPoint slide and so forth. But just to mention too, there are other signaling pathways which we're gonna talk in other episodes. Yeah that have to do with different aspects of healing. And all of these are referred to in general as biohacking. We're attempting to biohack our own biology using the science and God-given plant products, literally, to turn on systems that were injured because of our world, our environment. Right. And so that's, that's really the message. Well, this is, this is a year I keep hearing restore. It is a year of restoration, restoration, restoration. And so what you're bringing uh, through these programs that we're doing and through your own personal ministry and your practice is you are restoring. You know, the word talks about, you know, that God will take what the enemy uh, intended for bad and he'll turn it to good. And so I appreciate these segments. I know that many will go and get the book and they'll go on your website and they'll they'll receive and learn from you. And I know the brain, my brain, especially when I started going through menopause, I so needed something because for the first time I felt like I couldn't think. And everything you're describing is the medical explanation for, for that. And so I just wanna give you a minute to kind of close the show out and do a final encouragement because um, I know people are leaning in and they really care about Absolutely. this topic. I'd love to, thank you. Lord, I ask that those that are listening have been able to receive this knowledge and the understanding of what the power of your spirit can do in terms of the healing nature of those foods and, and plant things that you put on the, this earth to allow us to heal our bodies and to allow us to have the temple care that we so need yes. in these times where we're emotionally stressed, where we're being challenged by threats of infection and all the things that are out there, Father. I ask that you allow people to be receptive to this knowledge, use this knowledge to advance their health and their well-being. And um, Father, bring them to the, the, the site, bring them to uh, the, the power that they understand in your glory and I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you guys for being part of Come Home today. Go to biohackerusa.com. Get more information. Dr. G will be back with us next time. Thank you for watching.